a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to Assyria, my rod in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impious nation I sent him, and against a people under my wrath I order him to seize plunder, carry off loot, and tread them down like the mud of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind. Rather, rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, by my own power I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am shrewd, I have moved the boundaries of peoples, their treasures I have pillaged, and like a giant I have put down the enthroned. My hand has seized like a nest the riches of nations. As one takes eggs left alone, so I took in all the earth. No one fluttered a wing or opened a mouth or chirped. Will the ax boast against him who hews with it? Will the saw exalt itself above him who wields it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it, or a staff him who is not wood. Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and instead of his glory, there will be kindling like the kindling of fire. Verbum Domini. The Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O Lord, they trample down. Your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay. The fatherless they murder. And they say, the Lord sees not, the God of Jacob perceives not. Understand, you senseless ones among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? Shall he who shaped the ear not hear, or he who formed the eye not see? Shall he who instructs nations not chastise, he who teaches men knowledge? For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. Dominus Vobiscum, Eternus Spiritus Lectio Sancti Evangelii Secundum Mateum, Gloria Tibi Domine. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, 
you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Verbum Domini Jesus is giving praise to the Father in this reading today of the gospel for revealing to the childlike the mysteries of God, the mysteries of the kingdom of God. And to be childlike in the Lord is not to be childish. In being childlike, Jesus is calling us to a life of humility and simplicity. He is telling us that we are sons of the Father. However, it can be very difficult for us to be childlike the way God wants us to. We can be very stubborn. No, we can be arrogant or rude or just perhaps too full of ourselves to really embrace God as the Father and be childlike. And to be childlike is to be a mature Christian. I mean, there are many of us in the church who've sat in the pews for years, who've been involved, even go to studies and pray, but yet they are at the same place they were and they have been for many years. And why is this? This is a lack of humility, docility, simplicity. God wants us to have everything. He gives us his entire self. And as we hear today, Jesus, Jesus is, is, is praying to the Father. You know, that he, that we see an intimacy there, a real connection, a bond, sacred, holy. And Jesus knows the Father in a, in a very special and unique way. And it is through Jesus and him revealing himself to the disciples, telling them about the Father, that we get to know the Father. It is through Jesus that we, that, that we know the Father, that, like it says here in the Gospel. And Jesus is, is a visible presence of the Father. Remember at one point in the Gospels later on, Philip says to Jesus, he says, show us the Father. And Jesus says, haven't I been with you this long? You know, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Because Jesus is so united to the Father. He, so, he loves the Father so much with such a perfect, a profound and pure love that he radiates the Father, you know, that, that, we, that we see the Father's love in Jesus. And Jesus is saying here that here are the disciples now who have become childlike and are, are, who are receiving this love right now, who are, have opened themselves so that they can do the works of God. Well, again, what gets in our way of experiencing 
greater love of the Lord, greater intimacy to, be, to having true childlike faith. Of course, it is ourselves. You know, when, when, when to have this childlike faith is to, is to believe God for all things. Lots of times, many times, we, we don't do that. You know, we want to take things upon ourselves. But Jesus is saying, Jesus, Jesus in, in, in him, he's, uh, in, in his, and in his love for the Father, he's always calling upon the Father. This is the Father, the Father and I. You know, he's giving praise to the Father here. It speaks about the Father. I come to do the Father's will. He shows us how to truly be sons and daughters of the Father. And to be sons and daughters of the Father means that, you know, we, we are children of his. And that in this... We, as sons and daughters of the Father, can be safe. We can trust Him. No, we, we can believe Him to do great, wondrous, and glorious things in our life. Just like a child and his parents. You know, remember when you were a child, you know, many of us, I mean, sometimes not everybody, but um, many of us would look to, to our parents, would look to authority figures. And, in the, you know, the, the little kids, they, they trust their parents, especially as they're in their very early toddler years, little uh, early years. You know, they, 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 they want to be protected. They want to be safe in the, in the parents. And this is what Jesus is saying of us, that that's the kind of trust, the kind of faith we need to have with the Father. See, and then the, the more... The more, uh, the more we give ourselves in, in, in humility and sub submission to the Father, the more we have this childlike faith. And, you know, one thing is that uh, when we look to uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, St. Paul, you know, he's talking about, um, about being mature in, in, in faith, in, in, in his walk with God. And... A lot of that started with charity. You know, uh, he says that at the end, we know that, the, that this 1 Corinthians chapter 13 is all about love. It's all about charity. But at the end of this description of charity, or towards the end, St. Paul says that at one time, he, he was like a child, childish. He says, once I was a child, I spoke like a child. Then I became a man, meaning that he became mature in his Christianity not being childish anymore. So to be truly childlike as the way Jesus is calling us, of course it's humility, but it's also seeking the Lord in charity and love and abiding by those two great commandments of Jesus. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. See, in, in these passages I'm speaking about of St. Paul, earlier on he tells us what, what love is. Love is patient, love is kind. Then he says love is not jealous, love is not boastful. It is not resentful. It doesn't insist on its own way. You know, love does not rejoice in the wrong, but in the right. You know, in these things I've just said, this is, this is very childish here. No. To, to have these things. And, and that's what some of us do. We are boastful. We insist on our own way all the time. We get jealous. We give in to that. We are rude and arrogant at times. No, this, this, this is very childish. But yet, you know, we have Jesus who helps us. No, and, and seeking Jesus, especially beginning with wanting to be pure like Jesus in every way because to 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 have this great childlike faith begins here in the heart with our own will here and to have a heart and a mind like Jesus the Lord and that's why he says in Matthew chapter 5 is blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God it begins with the cleansing of what's inside of us here Remember, the heart is where, is where the will is formed, where the, uh, um, where the emotions are driven there, you know, where the intentions are formed. You know? and, and so if this, if this is not pure, if it's very self-focused in that way, then, 
then, then, then we won't come to this childlike faith. So that, that's where it starts here. It's by coming to the Lord and says, Lord, make my heart pure. Help me, help me to love you as you've called me to love and to do what you've commanded me, to be humble. And as Jesus says, that the pure of heart shall see God. But yet we need a childlike faith to see God. It is to see God, um, of course, to not only to, to, see, to see him as he is, of course, in heaven, you know, but to see how he works, how he operates in the world. An example of this is, is St. Francis of Assisi. Now, St. Francis, uh, well, he was coming, uh, having a deeper conversion experience. He knew that he had to renounce himself, that he had to give up his, his inheritance, you know, that, and he had to give up everything. So then he went before uh, the bishop in, in, at the church, you know, and he says, he says, no, he says, he tells his father, I, you know, father, I, I call you father, but now I have another father, the heavenly father. You know, and, and what we see of St. Francis here is that, is that a man who sees God in all of creation. He sees that through the love of God, that God is, is maintaining creation's existence. And so here, because he's so seeking purity of heart, he can, he can experience God's love everywhere, and he can see it alive. And he's truly embraced himself, and embraced the Father, as embraced, embraced him being a son of the Father in humil humble submission. And that's a great example for, for all of us. See, and the, and, and the more we, we can do that, the more innocent we become, just like a child innocence and holiness and so uh brothers and sisters yeah this and today there's there's a lot of a lot of things happening in the world and you know innocence is frowned upon you know true love and the and the meaning of true love it's has all kinds of meanings but jesus who is the way the truth and the life gives us this example and he calls us to the father and so like after these verses here in tomorrow's gospel, we will hear Jesus inviting us to himself. And he says, learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. So if we have difficulty being childlike, being humble, being simple, we learn from Jesus. Jesus who's lived this life. And Jesus who is gentle, he says, I am meek and humble of heart, who is gentle. And in his gentleness, he truly understands us and embraces us wherever we're at. Even if we're down, what does he do? He raises us up. So give yourselves to Jesus. Know he loves you. And know that through him, we can know the Father and know this unconditional love for all of us. God bless you all.